Welcome back. Uh, this is the beginning of the uh, second build sequence, and we're just going to start putting uh, some of the other components on the base. So we finished the frame, the frame structure in the first sequence, and so here we go with the idler. So this is the idler for the y-axis, and it consists of this part. So idler bracket and three of the M M4 bearings and two M4 washers and an M4 screw. The screw is pretty much the same width as the idler and it's pretty easy to assemble. Um, we don't really need a nut on it, there's enough enough hold in the in the plastic to hold the thread and so we just uh, start feeding the, the nut through, sorry the, the bolt through, just so it sticks out a little bit, put a, put a washer on there, put a bearing on there, keep screwing through, I'm going to put the three bearings in between and then the washer on the outside. And it's a bit tricky to get the, the washer in the middle there. There we go. Make sure it spins freely. So now we're going to mount the the Y axis uh, idler. So I've got a uh, three mil drill bit set up in my drill, and we're just going to drill out this little uh, pilot hole here. This is a single hole in the back of the front. Take an M4 screw, probably about 15, 20 mil long. just to fix it. Next we're going to mount the, the brackets actually to hold the, the Y-axis um, motor. So we've got the little two, two little uh, brackets ready and the, we're just going to use these four holes to secure it and we're just going to drill them out again to 3mm. Uh, use our probably about 15 millimeter M4s, self-tappers. We're going to assemble one of the uh, heat bed bearing brackets. So we've grabbed uh, one of the brackets. This is for a 2.5 millimeter aluminium base, and we've grabbed uh, two M4 self tappers. They're probably about uh, 12, 12 mil, 10 or 12 mil. Two of the uh, M, the four mil bearings, and two M4 washers, and pretty pretty simple to assemble. So grab a bearing, grab a screw. Put it through, put your washer on, and then screw there's two holes here for the for the bearings. Screw that on. Doesn't have to be too tight. Do the other one. And that's it, it's done. Now we can just test it out on one of our steel, steel rods. And you can see that it's rolling nice and smooth. So it's ready, and we just do the other two. So there's three in total. Now we're going to mount the uh, power supply in the corner of the board, in the front uh, right hand corner. And we're not going to actually use all, all these four reference holes, we're actually just going to use them to draw some reference lines. So I've just drawn a couple of lines here, because these holes don't really line up. Uh, all the power supplies are different sizes often. Um, so some of them are different lengths and things, and slightly different widths. 
So we're just using it as, as a reference. We're going to use our power supply to get the position of the exact holes. So we're just going to use this bottom corner as our main reference point. So we'll drill that out to 3mm. And we'll install one of the corners, one of the four corners. So your screw is going to be about 20mm M4 self tapping. Tighten it down. Now grab your grab your power supply and the orientation we usually have the, the power connector, power connecting facing forward. So we'll just do the the next next corner along the front. So just position it position it on the board. Grab yourself a pencil and just just mark a line on the back edge of the corner to get the, the right width. Remove your power supply and just see where I've put the line there. And use that line to get your to drill your rep, to drill your hole. So position it, uh, position it over the line, so the hole's over the line, the other line, the horizontal line, and the vertical line's just on the back edge of the connector, or the corner, and then just drill it out. And install your second corner. Power supply back on. And we'll do the back corner next. So we're going to just mark, mark a little line on the back of the connector. Power supply out. Line up your connector. Sorry, line up your corner. I'll just check to make sure it's square. I'm just going to take it out. And it's not quite... It's just a little bit on the left of the line. So I'm just going to try and get that hole exactly there. So it came off just a little bit left to that, that reference line. Do it again for the last corner. I'm going to have to flip it. And we'll just draw a line on both edges of that corner to line it up. If you line it up on your two lines. Let's test it out. That's it. All done.